The co-main event for Psy Games presents Rising Fighting World Grand Prix is about to go down. First round, 10 minutes. If we go to round two, it'll be five minutes as well as round three. Kicks the knees to the head of a downed opponent are legal. Elbows to the head, Heath Herring. Uh-uh, not permitted. This is definitely a fight made for Gracie. You know, three rounds. A long dragged out fight. Right. Get him sweaty. I mean, just I'm hoping to see that Crusher stays away, circles away from the power today. We've been seeing a lot of people circle into the power and get hit with those knees. Well, and, and I think that's the big question: Is Crawling going to come out and immediately try for a takedown? Is is, is Crusher going to be able to stay back on his heels a little bit? Yeah, we see Crusher coming out really slow, kind of just feeling out. And we're going to see if Crawling, you know, how, how his stand up game is, how how much he's improved on it. He's in that southpaw stance. But he looks to good job checking that kick. He looks to be trying to move on the inside to think, get a takedown. Just my opinion. Yeah, Gracie, he trains with the best man. Some of the best strikers out there, uh, the Diaz's, Gilbert Melendez. So he's used to getting punched. He's used to being in these wars. I think he's comfortable here. He just got hit in the body a few different times right. in the clinch. He's also fighting this veteran. He's been right. here a thousand times. Crusher has been. And, and, you know, I was actually surprised that Kawajiri let himself get put up against the ropes as quickly as he did. And he didn't try to take the center of the ring and, and move around. Uh, he seems to be being a little bit static, which I think makes him more of an easy target for Kron to do a takedown. Well, you can notice Kawajiri's flat-footed also. Mm -hmm. Kron's Correct. moving a little bit on his toes. And they're more in a dirty boxing fight here than anything Correct. else. And let's not forget Kawajiri brings a stellar wrestling acumen to this fight. It'd be very, very difficult to be taken down by Crone Gracie, but you never know. And he's landing some punches in the uppercut. Like you said, Joe Warren, some dirty boxing, not even 15 feet in front of us. So is that maybe what Kyle Jury's plan was, is just to have an opening and inviting target for Crone so he can get inside and do a little bit of dirty boxing, throw some knees? You know as well as I do, you have a plan until you get punched in the mouth, and <laughs> well, then all, all that goes out the window. <laughs> I know that all too well, my friends. <laughs> or punched in the ear, one of the two. <laughs> But this is a dirty boxing. I did right. not know. I did not think this was going to be this way. I thought mm -hmm. that Caligiuri would keep a little distance, right. maybe throw some punches and kicks, may, maybe put a little damage on Gracie before he puts him to the ground. Right here, it's a dirty boxing. Yeah. We got a clinch. We're punching to the body, punching to the head. No one's actually trying to go to the ground. Yeah, yet. and I'm impressed. Actually, Kron's doing a really, really good job of standing up. He doesn't seem to be initiating a takedown that much right now. He seems to pretty, feel pretty comfortable here in the clinch and, 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 and throwing. He's a peaceful guy. <laughs> You know, I think he's comfortable here. Just, these guys are throwing bombs here. We see some redness Absolutely. in the face. A Tatsuya Kawajiri, some blood coming yep. out of the nose here. The Kawajiri definitely seems to have gotten the, the worst end of the stick on this one. Um, obviously, without the elbows, you know, I think that the, the dirty boxing inside makes it a little bit easier. They're not, uh, that's one less thing that they've got to worry about. I haven't seen many knees, though. That's, that's kind of a surprise. This is not the way I thought this fight was going to go. Kawajiri was wobbly there for a moment, mm -hmm. gentlemen. Yeah, and, and, and Kron, even though he has his back up against, or has Kawajiri's back up against the ropes, doesn't really seem to be trying to, to push a takedown. He actually seems to be really confident in keeping the, the fight standing. And I'm seeing a lot of visible damage on Kawajiri right yeah. now after I didn't think he was getting hit with those power shots. He keeps going to the body. Oh. See him? Yep. Both men are going to that body over and over. They may, must have been now, watching tapes. Well, I'm not surprised that Kron is going to the body here. As a fighter, that does train with the Diaz brothers. They love to throw body shots, and there could be a game plan here, guys, to continue to hit Kawajiri's body, forcing Kawajiri to have enough, let him go for that takedown right. exactly where Cohen wants to be on the ground. I'm a huge fan of this dirty boxing, you know, and this is, uh, this is awesome to watch. No, it's very, very interesting. And actually, it's not going the way I expected at all. I, I kind of expected Kron to kind of come out and try to, you know, either pull guard or try some type of takedown initiative. I thought Kawajiri definitely... Oh, oh there's a, a knee. nice knee landed there by Tatsuya Kawajiri. Kron brushes it off. Yeah, and Kron's actually showing a lot of aptitude right now on, on his feet. I'm, I'm very impressed. Kron's throwing straight punches and moving forward. Kawajiri's not Absolutely. moving his feet. He's standing directly in front of his opponent. Here uh, we go. Pulls guard. 
he understands he hurt him. He damaged him a little bit. So he knows that Kalajiri's going to hold position for a second to get his breath back. That makes a jiu-jitsu or Gracie be able to move those hips as all over. And we have over six minutes left here in the opening round, which wow. is plenty of time for a guy like Chrome Gracie to work his jiu-jitsu. Yeah, and you see now he's starting to move his legs up a little bit higher, trying to get that arm. We might see another arm bar attempt. Yep. Maybe my crystal ball is working right now. Awajiri keeping his balance, keeping his base straight. Can't, he's got to keep those hips straight because, as we all know, Kron Gracie's very, very explosive with his hips, can spin in a variety of directions. His dexterity yeah. is absolutely fantastic with those legs. And we see Kron's really kind of working on Kawajiri's right arm right now. He's trying to, trying to isolate it now. He got it, got it out. But he seems to be trying to sneak that left leg up onto the right arm of Kawajiri, maybe setting up either a triangle or an arm bar. And remember, remember, folks, three rounds. Okay, so this is a uh, game plan here for Kong Gracie. Probably lock up the dirty boxing, hurt his body a little bit, come to the ground and control. And here we see, and here we see Kron getting those knees up higher, obviously, with the, with the guard. I think he's being smart here. He's holding down the head of Kawajiri, so he oh, can't posture up. up and then using the heel kicks. But Kawajiri is able to pass up, tries to jump there, tries to land a nice kick to the face. Wow. This is a problem. Gracie, or Gracie's trying to get the back here. And a great job by Kawajiri standing back action. up. Fantastic. And so we're back to the beginning of the round. This is a great fight. We see Kawajiri throwing some knees, uppercuts. And Kron, I'm really impressed with Kron's stand-up ability in this fight. He seems to be quite, quite confident in the, in the, in the clinch and, and quite happy to remain there. And I think that goes back to who he trains with every day. So definitely not just a one-dimensional fighter at this point. He's no, doing... not at all. We saw, we saw some really good striking in his last fight, and he is blooding up Kawajiri right now, landing a variety of punches to the body, tons to the face, oh. jumps again to guard, pulls guard. Where he's got four minutes now. This has to be frustrating for Kawajiri, right? He feels like he's getting beat up on his feet, now he's getting pulled down in the guard. I mean, he's like, where, where am I, where am I ahead in this, in this fight? Right yeah, now? It's, a, it's like I said, the, progr the progression of Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, switching to mixed yep. martial arts. Here we see Kron really tying up that left arm of Kawajiri's. He's trying to take his back. Trying to take his back here, trying to inch his way to the back. Very, very sneaky. There's some trouble going on here, Heath. Yeah, he might go for the body. What do you think? He might go for the body triangle here, then try to finish off with his, with his rear naked, or or do you think he's trying to work that left arm out? Or yeah, the left arm out of Karajiri's into an arm bar. Three and a half minutes. Multiple the Japanese options, right? crowd are clapping for their hometown hero. They are trying to get Kawajiri to get out of this yep. position. There you see that that left arm of Kawajiri's is in a bad position, and I, I think he's trying to figure out. He needs to keep his weight back on the Kron. And try to force Kron either. Well, now nah, here we go. That, here, yep, that body yep. triangle that I was thinking he might try to do. Kron has multiple options right here. And he, he, what he's doing is he's trying to let Kawajiri dictate what he does next. Well, this is jujitsu right here. You soften up the body. You nice, soft punches the head. It starts yeah, to he's hurt. Working on that left go. arm. Yep. Yep. He opens up. His, left, his right leg just came over to the carotid artery on the neck. Now, let's not forget he is... Uh, not even five feet away from his dad, Hickson Gracie, who is offering some instruction, but allowing his son to do his work. Yeah, and, and, really, it up. Yep. and actually with just those left hands, it's not doing a whole bunch of damage, but it's irritating. And what he's wanting, I think what he's trying to do, yeah, I think he's going to go for that left arm bar. Yeah. Done. He's got it. He's got it there. I'm not sure. This he's is turning it. over. The referee gets with, checked. Jason Herzog going on the other side. No, he got the head out. If he can get the head out. Now, if Calgary's smart, I think he can push him to those ropes. Maybe we get a restart. Oh, he might That's be exactly out. what he's doing. They are basically outside. And he's got to get his hips. He's got to get his hips over Kron's cover. Yeah, they got his arm out. He got his arm out. Just over two minutes to go here. Kron Gracie with a submission attempt, perhaps a terrible part. And Coward looks like he's going for a knee bar. He just actually. took his back. Oh. He missed the knee bar attempt. Now Kron's got the full, full. Yep, going for a rear naked. He's got one hook in. 145 left. He got the left leg in. I can't see. I can't see on the right. Does he have the right in as well, or this is, is hung up in the ropes? Exactly. We don't want to be with a Gracie. Legs in on your back. No. <laughs> I guess not. A methodical oh. performance. Both hooks, hooks are in right there. A minute yep. and a half to go here. And can Kron Gracie finish? Kron the Gracie off? looking for the finish right now. Or can now Kawajiri's got his his chin down. He can he can theoretically survive this. 
He just turned into him there, Heath Herring. He but caused a lot of damage, Crone, yeah. before this. And, and Crone, you see Crone asking his corner, how much time? How much time? Look, he's taking a deep breath. Yep. He's got one minute. He doesn't have to rush anything. Yep. Now, Calvary will just kind of relax in this position, push back into Kron, keep that chin down. He can, he can definitely survive this. He needs to get his back flat against his yep. mat here. Push back. He needs to push back into Kron to, to isolate his movement. He's, if, if, by letting by letting Kron get up, it gives him too much ability to move around on his back. 45 seconds to go in the opening round of the co-main event this evening. Tatsuya Kawajiri yep. trying to protect his neck. Kron Gracie trying to get the finish, continuing to soften up his opponents. 33 seconds left in the round. Correct. And actually what Kawajiri is doing here is fantastic. Turning that chin into the left arm of Kron into the elbow. That's going to stop the choke. He needs to keep that chin down. That's okay. He should be fine right there. It, it, sh it shouldn't be too much of an issue. It's, it's annoying. It's not comfortable. But it's survivable. Yep, here you go. He's, he should be fine here. He's got 10, 10 more seconds. And the Japanese crowd cheering on their fighter. Kron Gracie dominating here at the ending part here of the first round here. Ten minutes yep. exactly is what the Gracies wanted. Wow. They got it. Fantastic. We will go to round number two. Kawajiri stumbling over to his corner. Kron Gracie not disappointed but understands, hey, you know what? We have to go to round two. Hickson Gracie now in his corner. Here's Kawajiri getting toweled down, beaten, bloodied up. But a warrior, samurai spirit, refuses to give up. Yeah, here we have the armbar attempt in the ropes. And here Kawajiri does a really good job of, of hipping back towards to cover his arm up to get out of that armbar. And I think just being in the ropes, it was, it was really tough for Kron to really get that full extension and, and crank it out. Um, man, what an awkward position, though, being in the ropes like that. Yeah, that's nope. kind of, yeah, here's the back. Mm -hmm. he, he starts to soften, soften him up with that right yep. hand. Uh, Kalajiri keeps his chin down. This is what stops him from getting that submission. Right. And keeps fighting back to his stomach. He needed to push to his back. He made it through here like you talked about, Heath. And that, that was the end of that round. You know, so, so if, you're, if you're in Kalajiri's corner, what are you going to tell him come out of this? I mean, he, obviously, he's not doing fantastic standing up. On the ground, he definitely seems to be outclassed a little bit. You know, if I'm in, if I'm Calizari's corner, I'm telling him, hey, you got to start, 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 start throwing some kicks and keeping some distance from this guy. That's what I would have said. Keep some distance and land more than one punch and finish with a kick. Right. Here we go. Round number two. This one will be for five minutes. There we go. Well, maybe he listened to us. Don Gracie wasting absolutely no time, gentlemen. Put him in the neutral corner and jump to guard. Well, and really, Kron, you know, Kron's been doing fantastic on the ground here. He's shown he's shown quite a bit of dominance. Uh, I think he's he's been doing really, really good from from underneath, coming out, going for the, going for several submission attempts. You know, I think Kawajiri is just trying to like get his senses right now. What he needs to do is start opening up. But I think he's so worried about uh, throwing the big bombs on Kron because it seems to open him up then for submissions. And as soon as he does throw that right punch, boom! Gracie tried to grab him and put him in an arm choke. Yeah, and you see Kron really relaxed there on his back. And there, and, and Crone's throwing air that, that, that really. They grab, oh, wow. Kawajiri with the kick, destroyed them. Got to watch his leg go. Crone again, once again, takes his back. And here we have the rear naked. Now he's only got one hook in. This could be good for Kawajiri. If he could turn over. Oh, now he's got both hooks in. It would be good, but we have a last name, Gracie, in there. Well, that's true. But Kawajiri's doing a really good job. Now, he shouldn't be in too much trouble now. He should probably try to turn off back to his left and try to reverse and get back into the into the guard position of, of Krohn. Yep, or what we talked about, Kalajiri Cal needs to make sure he pushes back so his, both of his shoulder blades get flat on the mat Correct. so he can turn into Correct. it. From this position right here, it's just at the end of the first, we're right. saying the same thing. He's now going to try to soften up the face again, maybe go underneath that nose and lift so he can get the chin to come up so he can finish. Yeah, I'd like to see Kawajiri turn back towards his left side. Oh, this is how we right saw. This is what Crone Gracie has been trying to do all fight, gentlemen. Slide it under the neck. Good. Got he's got the good. spot. No, he's under the chin. Yeah. This could be bad. This could be good. the end of it. This good could night. be the end of the fight here. Can Kawajiri pull it off? No, that's it. He will go on. He taps on. It is all over. Crone Gracie once again locks in a submission here at the Saitama Super Arena. Dominant performance. Beautiful, beautiful performance. That's why I talk about the progression of Jiu uh, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. It's now mix it's changing to mixed martial arts, and I think this is a, this is the future right here. 
Really, Krohn. really, really, really impressed with Crone standing up on his feet. Inside dirty boxing, good knees, fantastic. Pulling guard, moving under the back. 